Hey there students, I'm going to show you a few tricks that you can do to turn a PowerPoint into a digital portfolio. So I'll be working with the template of a, a PowerPoint right here, but if you start from scratch, any of these things will uh, be available for you too. You can find uh, templates all over the internet on Slides Mania or places like that so that you can pick your own slideshow presentation. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to just use this slideshow. The first thing I want to show you is how to insert a screenshot. So if you're doing a digital portfolio and you want to highlight some of your work, sometimes you want to take a screenshot. If you're working on a Chromebook, you will do the control and all control shift and this little key that's up top here. And if you're on a PC screenshot, you're going to be doing the windows, the shift and the S. So I'll just show you right here. If I go windows shift S gives me this little clipping tool. I can take a screenshot just like this and it copies it straight to my clipboard just like that. And then you can see it's as easy as once it's on my um, clipboard, I can go here and I can just go right click and paste. And there's my screenshot right there. So that'll work with anything that you wanna just take a, a quick shot of any of the work if you're working on whatever um, Google Doc or Google Word or sorry, Word or anything like that or a PDF, any of those kind of documents, you can take a screenshot if you just wanna show your work and then you can put it into your PDF, sorry, your PowerPoint presentation. If your work is somewhere stored on your computer or on your device, you can also link this picture out. So if I click this picture and highlight it, you can see that I've got the dots around there. I can actually insert a link. There's a few different ways you can do it. You can see up here, there is this link button. If I click this, um, I can say insert link there. I can also right click and there's a link there, or I can even say control K and then I can find my work, whatever it is, and link that to my picture. So if you take a little snapshot of whatever work you're doing and if you actually wanna link it out to your um, file system, wherever it's stored, that's the way to do it. The next thing I want to show you is inserting an image. So if you want to insert an image, it's up here. You click this insert up here, and then you're going to want to find the pictures button right here. So if you click down here, you can see you can insert a picture from your device or stock images that are Microsoft stock images or online pictures. So any one of these would work. Um, if you have pictures that you have stored in your computer, then that's the one. If you want to find one that's just kind of customizing your PowerPoint, you'd find it there and online pictures there if you want to search the internet. But normally, um, if you want to add a picture, it's probably ones from like in a portfolio that they're already saved to your device. So you would click this again, you'd have to navigate your file system to find where those pictures are located. Then you would just click it and say add and away you go. Now you can see on this page, there's a few things that are uh, added to this page. So you can add videos or audio. Um, and the way you do that is over here, you, for sure, you have to make sure you're on insert up here and then it says media. Now there's video, there's audio, and there's a screen recording. The first one I'll show you is adding a video. So if you click down this one, you can see that there's an online video or a video on my PC. So if you are linking out to a YouTube video or something that is online, obviously you'd click the online video. And if you were gonna do a video that's stored on your PC, then you click the video on my PC. So this could be maybe even a Screencastify video that's stored in your OneDrive or your file system. You could click this one and you would be able to add and find that video here. And then again, you would click it and add it to this page. Audio works exactly the same way as if I were to click this media and click audio, it's the same choices here, audio on my PC. So if you have some sort of a stored MP3 that uh, voice recording that you have done, you would find it there, or you could just record audio right in PowerPoint. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna try it right here, but it might not uh, let me record since I'm already recording one thing, but let's give it a try. If I say testing, testing, one, two, three, and I stop that and then I say, okay, you will see actually it looks like it might work for us. And there it is, it comes up with a little audio that you can then put. So if you want to talk about whatever piece of work that you are putting into your portfolio, you can record right in PowerPoint and discuss it and have a little link so that people can hear it while when they are looking at your portfolio. 
Now the last one I want to show you here is the adding the media and um, it's a screen recording tool. Now it's not going to allow me to do this because I'm already using a screen recording tool right now to show you this tutorial. But if you wanted to, you could use the screen recording tool to make a screen recording and explain what you are looking at. So you could actually go through your PowerPoint presentation or, or some other work if it's not in a PowerPoint and highlight and talk about the work, work that you've done. And then you can put that screen recording right into your PowerPoint presentation and link it out so that people again can hear and see what you are presenting for them in your portfolio or your, your demonstration of learning um, material. So that's the, the gist of what you can add into a, a PowerPoint presentation to show your work. And you can see from this um, template right here, you can um, do different subjects and you can add different video and audio and different kinds of media to highlight the work that you have done and make it a very wonderful demonstration of learning or a student portfolio that will go ahead uh, with you throughout the year or even just possible for a demo of learning. Have fun using PowerPoint and good luck.